This CamTwist tutorial is going to cover downloading CamTwist and getting it all the way installed and operating and running with Stick'em. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up a web browser and go to the official website at www.alloc.com, A-L-L-O-C-I-N-I-T.com. And on the left side, you'll see a link to CamTwist right over here. We'll click on that and scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page where you can see all the different versions of CamTwist for download. These are all the different version numbers. Obviously, grab the latest version number available for your platform. It's worth noting that 1.7 is the last version that runs with Mac OS X 10.4. If you're running Mac OS X 10.5, also known as Leopard, you can run version 2.0. It's you really want to run 2.0 if you can because there are additional performance benefits and extra effects available in 2.0. So I click on 2.0, Firefox asks me to save the file, I click OK. If you're running Safari, it will automatically open the disk image file, but I'm going to double click on the disk image on my desktop, and it will open up this window right here. At this point, I want to install CamTwist. I'm going to double click on the CamTwist package, which looks like a little box and it brings up the installer. I'll click Continue and Install. And at this point, I'm going to need to have a username and password that is an administrative account on my computer. I can't be a standard user. This must be an administrative account. I enter my username and password, click OK, and now it installs on my system. That's great. We'll close out of that. I'm going to unmount my disk image. You don't actually have to. And I'll just delete that because I don't need it anymore. Great. Now, this next step is very, very, very important, and that is you need to close all of your web browsers. And I don't just mean clicking the red X, I mean actually completely closing, going up to Firefox, quit Firefox, or hitting Command-Q on your keyboard. Same thing with Safari. Safari, quit Safari. Make sure they're completely closed. They're totally down. If you're in doubt at this point, reboot your computer. Now, before I open my browsers again, I need to open up CamTwist. So I'm going to open up my hard drive. Yours might be named my Macintosh HD. And I'm going to scroll down to my Applications directory and find CamTwist and open this up. Keep in mind, my browsers are still closed. CamTwist needs to be opened prior to your browsers being opened up. So all right, we've opened up CamTwist. And I'm going to open up uh, my preview by going to Tools and Preview or Command P on my keyboard. Black window, that's not very fun. So let's add a webcam. I have the option of adding my desktop, a still slideshow, a movie, your Flickr video. But you know, let's add a webcam. I've got a Logitech webcam. I double click on it, and you'll see here I've got my effect webcam. And the settings for that webcam, I've got all the different webcams I can choose from on this system. It is a broadcasting computer, so you see I've got a lot of cameras. You may only have one at this point that says something like eyesight camera or whatever it says. But I've got a Logitech, so there you go. And you know, this is fun, but it's kind of boring. So let's add some effects. Let's add a bullet hole. So I double click on bullet hole. There we go. And let's add a comic book effect on top of all that. That's a little bit much. Let's get rid of the comic book effect. So I'll go over here and click the little X. Gets rid of the comic book effect. Actually, let's insert something instead. Do a halo. <laughs> I'll take the halo and the settings for the halo pop up over here. So I'll just move this over here. Yeah, and I'll scale it down a pinch. I'm not. There we go. Perfect. I love it. This is what I want to broadcast. So now I'm going to open up my web browser. We use Firefox, but of course you can use Safari if you want to. And I'm going to go to stickem.com, www.stickem.com. I'm already logged into my Stickem account. At this stage, if you don't have a Stickem account, you can log or sign up for one, or if you've already got one, go ahead and log in. It will bring you to this screen right here. And I've already completed a good chunk of my profile. And mine didn't load correctly, so I'm going to hit refresh. Go, go Firefox. There we go. That's what it should look like. And I'll click on the Go Live button right here. And the problem is going to be, and it's loading the Stick'em interface. And this is what I want it to see. I've got the halo right here, and I've got this bullet hole right over here. And I'll click Allow right here for Stick'em to see my webcam and my audio, but it's black. There's nothing here. It's not working. So I'm going to right click or control click right in here and click Settings. And we'll bring this up, and we'll say, you know what? I want to click on the webcam icon right here. And you'll see I've got this list of all those same webcams that you saw in CamTwist. I don't want to use the Blackmagic card. I want to use CamTwist. You'll see this CamTwist option in this drop-down list. Click on that, and then click Close. And you'll see now I've got the bullet hole. I've got, it's showing whatever CamTwist is using. At this point, I'm broadcasting and working great inside of Stick'em. And if I want to change my effects, so I'll just click on CamTwist in my dock. I can remove the bullet hole, for example. I can go into my list of different effects, and I can add a different effect. I'll do the matrix effect, double-click on that, and 
You can see I've gone all matrixy. Awesome. And let's say I don't like the order of that, so I'm going to take the halo and add it on top of the matrix because you couldn't really see it inside the matrix. There you go. Pretty cool. You know, there's really no need for the halo anymore, so I'll get out of that. And you can kind of see how this all works, and you can play around inside of the Camp Twist interface. There are also additional tutorial videos that show you how to use more of this interface if you want to get more advanced. But here are the basics. You're now broadcasting doing this really cool matrix effect on Stick'em. And that's all you need to do to get broadcasting with Cam Twist.